Operated security guard agency, and uh, it, we've been in business for over 14 years. Um, we secure just about any event or building, marijuana grow processing, dispensaries, stores, loss prevention, executive protection, anything. People we, we're like almost a one-stop shop, except for we don't do uh, cameras. And what's cameras the name of your business? MOD, Masters of Detection Security Services. You hear that? You need some protection. You need your business secured. All these new dispensaries and everything. He got you. MOD security. Okay. So make sure you look them up. Um, their uh, contact information will be in the description below if you need to um, secure their services. But definitely check them out. All right. So um, tell us uh, about your entrepreneurial journey. What was that like? like um, well, it's. I would say it's been all fun, and then it's been a lot of tears, and it's been a lot of joy, and it's been a lot of everything. <laughs> you go through every emotion you can when you have your own business. You have your highs days where you're just like floating, and then you have your low days where you feel like folding. It's it, it, you go through all of that, and you can go through it in one day. You can go through it in five years. It's it's uh, like I said, wow. it's it's yeah, it, it's an emotional ride because if you're passionate about your business. It's gonna show. If okay. you don't care about it, you're just gonna do whatever. And if it goes, it go. If it if it's a hit, it's a hit. It's not and walk away and do something else. You know. So, yeah, we've uh, you know. Um, I started in um, 2009. I got my uh, my license in May of 2009. And the first year, I think I did like one thing. And I was thinking that we were gonna be like a lot bigger by you know four or five months. You're thinking, oh, we're gonna be like rolling in you know hundreds of thousands of dollars on our way to that million and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was sitting at uh, Kingdom Life Ministries, and we were having watch night. And uh, I was sitting, and I had my head down, and I was like, God, I think I'm just going to fold. I said, I, this is not going to be, I, I don't see the money. It's not panning out like I thought it would. And uh pastor was walking down the aisle, and he was looking around. And he said, if you have a business, do not shut your doors. Do wow. not quit. Wow. He said, it's coming. He said, you don't see it yet, but it's coming. And I, I, I was like, well, I guess I'm not going to shut my doors, and I haven't. And it's it, like I said, it's been a fun ride. It, sometimes it isn't, but sometimes it is. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, if, can you uh, share a few details with what it takes to even get a business, uh, a security business started? Well, know, um, there, okay, so you have uh, what's called uh, their, you have to go on the Lara website, and it has a security guard, and it'll have five different things that you can't be, like you can't have a felony. Um, no uh, discharges from employment due to uh, moral cause, uh, uh, fire any kind of firearms, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, felonies, no domestic violence, and I think certain, uh, uh, what's the lesser one, not a felony, but the misdemeanors, there's certain misdemeanors you can't have either. Okay. Um, there's professional qualifications, you have to have been a police officer for at least two years in a, in a, as a sworn officer okay. or a sheriff or a peace officer. Um, you had to have been a uh, manager at a licensed security guard agency for at least four years, or if you have a bachelor's degree, it's two years. Okay. And the other part, I forget what the other part of it is. Um, I think that was it. It was like the police officer, or if you didn't, you had to have a four-year degree plus two years of management experience in a licensed security guard agency. Mm -hmm. So I had the, I had the, 
and the veteran. So I had the so I was an eight year veteran of the Navy, and then I had the four year degree, and then I had the two years of a, at another licensing com company as a manager. Okay. So I qualified that way, and um, after that, they you have to get a background check and fingerprints, and then the local sheriff or police chief has to sign off on your application. Make sure you know that he's ran your social security number. He's done a lean check on you, an MVR check, and everything. You know, that you're saying that you don't have any felonies or misdemeanors, sure. it's clean. Uh -huh. And then they sign off on that. You send that whole packet to Lansing and you call them. They will they send you back one letter. The first letter is um, that your preliminary, uh, you know, they're, you're in the approval process. Okay. But you have to get liability insurance. So um, I went to the, uh, nope, I didn't go to Campbell first. I went to a place here in Saginaw. And they issued me my certificate for insurance. So I had okay. to send them back the insurance. So then that part was the that was taken care of. Then they send you back another one with um, if you're experienced, if you don't have enough experience, you know, can you send us another sheet of experience? I think I had to do one more sheet. Uh, I had to send in one more form with the experience and sent that back. And then about three or four weeks later after that, the license came in the mail. It was, wow. Yeah. So it, yeah, it's a little involved process. It's yeah. not you're going to apply tomorrow and then like you call them and push them. It's like, mm, no, no. It's, <laughs> mm -mm. it's about a six to eight. And I don't know, like I said, you know, since COVID, huh? it might be over a year now. It's, okay. it's, a, it's a little involved process to get it. Oh, wow. So you're, but you're it, saying about six to eight month minimum. Yeah, at least. Okay. Yeah, because it's a professional qualification. So okay. it's like a realtor or, uh, you know, we're in there with realtors and construction and morticians and, um, wow cosmetologists and all that where oh, they get the yeah. license we're yes. in that group of that that professional that you have to get a license so to you hear it. that you have to have some planning involved and some patience okay so yeah. you, you don't just wake up and get the license in a week no. or so you're gonna have to <laughs> no i didn't even know it was even coming until it arrived in the mail <laughs> wow wow, mm. wow. Yeah. so how many uh employees did you start with one me i was one <laughs> Um, I was my I was my best employee. I was the most on time employee. I got all my employee recognition awards. So I was I was I, so, like I said I was doing it up. So but um, no I started with maybe what a couple people and we were doing like I think we had like one haul that we did and then we went from there and people started hearing my name and you know hey you got a security guard and we started doing another haul and then we started doing these other events and then it just like grew from there. So wow yeah so I. What what are the, um what's the highest number of employees that you've employed at one time? Uh, what is it like sixty? Maybe fifty or sixty? Fifty or sixty. Wow! Because we had done some real big events where you know they have they need fifty sixty people for a whole week. You know what I'm saying? And we supply them, but yeah. like I said, you know, and then you know some people just want to do that event, and then they just you know, hey, I just want to get my money and blah blah blah, and get my little experience, or you know, some of them sure. stick around. So. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And um. And so what, what is your role, Tracy? What is your role in the business? What do you do? So I am more of a secretarial, um, hands-on executive assistant to him. I do schedules, um, call people, I hire, fire at times when it's needed. Um, so it's more just the paperwork, um, taxes, so payroll. So the human resources portion. The human resources portion of it. Okay. Yes, yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And that's a lot. You know, it is. It could be Taxes, a lot. payroll, firing people. Yes. Doing the heavy lifting. It's a lot. <laughs> right. Yes. A lot. It could be very taxing on a person, but it's, you know, it's rewarding at some times, you know, you meet some really nice people and um, you're able to give them the opportunity to work and, you know, provide for their families. And so it's good. Yeah. Okay. It's good. good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So um, if, uh, what would you, a perfect vision for my security look like? Oh, wow, that's a good question. Is that for me or? The, the, the Either or. Oh, okay. I don't know. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, I was just wondering. I, I um, would see probably at least 20 contracts. Yeah, at least, at least 20, 20 more 20, by the end of the year would be yeah. nice. Because the 20 all together. I think currently now we have about maybe four, four contracts. No, six. Six contracts. No, eight. And then. No, because we got... We have some things yeah, coming yeah, up. We have, so, yeah, we have a lot of yeah. stuff that's coming up. So, so we're like, looking to get... Um, because the ultimate goal is to build wealth. And so we um, crunched the numbers. We did a... Um, um, not a feasibility study, but we did a uh, marketing thing marketing to study. find out 
what it would take um, to get us to that million dollar mark, okay. just to get us there. Yes. And so when we crunched the numbers, uh, we would probably at least need, um, I believe it was maybe 11 or 12 um, full-time contracts in order to get us there. Okay. We have to meet that million dollar goal. And then we can expand and grow from there, maybe do some other things, um, you okay. know, along the way. So, yeah. Now, do you provide services only in Michigan? Yes. My license is only good for Michigan. Okay. All right. But I've been to Oklahoma. I had a license in Oklahoma in 15 and yeah, did a easier. couple winter, well, three wind turbine projects in, in Oklahoma in 15, 14 and 15. So and you're the, willing to, for the right contract... Oh yeah, there yeah, licenses are easy to get for different states because if you're already established, all you have to do is go to their whatever their Lara is, whatever it is, and okay. you know, and let them know that you're you know that you have a, a a functioning license. It's not under any kind of investigation that um, your uh, legal entity, if you're an incorporation or S corp or an LLC, that that's good, and basically they give you a not a permit, but you have to fill out. It's called a a foreign entity working in that state, state okay. and then you you know then that gets approved and pretty much you, you get your you know license in another state is basically how it goes so you hear that youtube fam he's willing to come and supply you officers in whatever state you're in mm -hmm. all you have to do is uh contact him look at the con uh, contact information down below and you'll be able to uh hire him negotiate a contract be generous Negotiate a contract, mm -hmm. <laughs> and he'll be willing to provide you some officers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, who would be you? Yeah, you probably would say each other, but who would be your biggest cheerleaders? From that's a, that's a good question. Yeah. That's a really good question. I think, as he said, he started doing this pretty much by himself, and I think that um, when you run a business. You have to have a team, whether it's a team of one or a team of however, how many. Mm -hmm. And so um, without someone, um, you feeding off each other, um, supporting each other. Like he said, when the things are good, when things are high, um, when there's challenges, when there's good times, you know, um, I think that we've, each other has been each other's cheerleader to yeah. say, don't stop, keep uh -huh. going, we'll figure something out, we'll work it out. Um, and so I think that's been the biggest, um, the, the biggest part of it. Yeah. It's just us having our moments of, okay, I don't agree with that, right. but let's do that anyway. <laughs> and so you, um, you have that though, you okay. know, even though the business is solely in his name, um, I try to still be, um, there, there for him, yeah. you know, especially when things are at its lowest, you right. know, you can, everybody can ride right. with you when things are high. Yes. But when things are the lowest, that's when you show true character if you have buy-in to what your partner is doing, and you know, and believing in them to yeah. say, just do this. Because he had a job, a traditional job, and he wanted to just go full-time to do um, his, you know, the security. And so it took money away from one entity, like, you know, you have the two household income, and then you're stepping out, and you're like, I'm step out in faith. This is something that I have passion for. This is something that I, I feel, you know, good about doing. Sure. And so you just, you take that leap of faith. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just, you you see your goal. You said, I'm going to do this. Um, I had a word from God and I'm just going to go for it. Amen. You know, and I'm not Amen. looking back. You know, mm -hmm. God said this. He said I was going to have a business. I was going to be successful in that business. And I'm standing on the word of God. Amen. Come hell or high water, I'm going to stand on what God said. Yeah. And so we've had those times, yeah. you know, we've had those times where we say, I say to myself, wow, we're still doing this, you know, and then we get up the next day and we keep doing it, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And we keep going, we pe keep persevering and say, I'm going to reach that goal. Yeah. You know, it's been 14 years, but I'm going to still go. I'm going to still keep going. I'm going to still try to grow it. I'm going to still, because this is his passion. This mm -hmm. absolutely is. He can talk security. 24 hours a day if you allow him to. <laughs> so sometimes I have to just nod my head and just, you know, but it's, he's passionate about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the other thing that's, that kind of gets you going too, like in a cheerleader type sense is having repeat contracts coming back. You know, and now, you know, especially like a lot of the festivals we've done, you know, we've been doing them for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. And they oh, call, awesome. you know, I just got a call the other day for Cheeseburgers in Caseville again. 
And Lenny's like, you guys are coming back, right, 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 right. Yeah, we're coming back. Okay, okay, we'll put you in. You know what I'm saying? They're excited to have us back. You know what right. I'm saying? And that keeps you going, too. That's like that little cheering to keep you going. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we do the uh, Michigan Firefighters Festival every year. You know, we've been doing that for like eight years. And they call us, hey, you guys are coming back, right? Yeah, we're coming back. You know, so they're, you know, they're dependent on us. You know, they like us that much, but they're dependent on us to come back. So it's yeah. like, okay. Sure. So, yeah. That's awesome. That's, mm -hmm. And that's a testament to the quality of right. service and officers that you service. select yeah. and provide. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, they have repeat customers. Right. That means that they're providing great quality service. No mm -hmm. one is going to ask anyone to come back if they're giving them uh, poor service. Right. So this is, um, you know you're going to get a good quality service mm -hmm. when you call on them to provide their security. Now, the one thing that you two have that's different from a, um, a lot of the interviews that I've done is that you guys are married. Ooh, yeah. we married. Um, two <laughs> years. Is it 22? They're right now until November. It's 23. Okay. Yeah. Long so, time. So, um, and how does being married and being partners? Oh my goodness! <laughs> it doesn't always. Um, it's not always. Um, what you say, sweet and peaches and cream, peaches whatever and you cream. want to say. Yeah. It's, not. it's not. We don't always agree. Um, a lot of times we agree to disagree um, when it yeah. comes to things in business or, or employee or whether we should keep somebody or. So that's why a lot of times I just take the, I've taken the role in that, like, you know, that person is not working out and he's more of a, give him more grace. oh, he's just so graceful, <laughs> such a sweet, yeah, that's right. nice guy. And he doesn't ever, you know, and so we, we, um, we've been off balance a lot of times, but then we come back and we balance it out because at the end of the day, really, like I said before, it really is his company. It's really his passion. Mm -hmm. I'm just here to support and to, um, to be a help. You know, okay. help me for him. So, awesome. yeah. So, yeah. But sometimes it crosses over into the marriage where it's like, I'm not talking right now about it. Not that now. <laughs> yeah, it does. Because it does. It does. It's because a lot. You're, yeah, because it's like um, if you move into a house and you're doing a remodel with your your um, spouse, you're not going to always agree. It's like a about business. It's just like a remodel. Generation decision. Exactly. Right. exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's just like a remodel. So if you look at it that way, and so, yeah, it's um, it's had its challenges in its moments, but um, we always come through. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. We it's, always it's sometimes the cooler heads prevail. It's like once you, mm -hmm. and then we come back and revisit it and be like, okay, I thought about what you said, and I thought about what you said, and right. it's like, okay, and then you know what I'm saying? You take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and it works out. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. Now I know that you um have some other uh business ventures on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Um, do you care to share those? Well, currently I'm attending the Joseph Business School, and um, with that, what I want to do is INS Foundation. It is a nonprofit or not, not a charitable organization that would provide um basic good needs to families that are in need okay. or um teenagers that have been um new to getting a home and they need. Tissue paper, paper towels, um, bedding, bedding um, just the basic needs of a home. Okay. And so that's one of the things that I'm, I'm working on towards now. Um, the other thing is that I'm working towards an app um, for children that have ran away from home. You know, okay. that there's no really a lot of resources out there, um, especially for children of color. Okay. When we go missing, we don't make the news and that sort of thing. And okay. so I want to have an outlet where um, just ordinary people can just go on and put the information in and, you know, try to seek some help, you know, to find their loved one. Oh, um, so those that's just, awesome. And then the, probably uh, that child, if they're, be, if they have access and they're able to get on, they, mm -hmm. they can probably go in and say, hey, I'm here. Yes. Right, exactly. For sure. Without alerting the Without, person that's exactly. kidnapping them. Exactly. Yeah, that's awesome. And so those are just a couple of things that, that's just been really tugging at my heart. Um, it's just to give back. Um, to my community, to other communities, um, to just be a blessing, to be a blessing to somebody. Amen, yeah. amen, and yeah. amen to the first time in the, I wish you would have had this when I moved out my first time, <laughs> you know, yeah, I had a, you know, we're not going to date me, but you know, that was like, I went to Kmart, okay, that's where all right. my decor came from, mm -hmm. See? <laughs> so I it's was true, a, a happy blue light shopper, okay, See? exactly. <laughs> Yeah, and the sheets and everything came from there. Yeah. They were probably maybe a hundred thread counts. See, 
Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You're right. So, but so I, I'm, I'm thankful um, to a couple mm -hmm. who has a heart to serve and a heart to give yes. and a heart to do uh, more for the community because we all, at some point in time, are in a position where we uh, need to some help and some support. Right. So I hope that anyone out there who's in the innovation who um, would like to help her to develop this app, um, again, contact them in the information below. You know, if you're, you're, if you're ready to foot the bill for that and help her out with that, hey, we're welcome. Yes. Bring it on. Encouragement. That was another mm -hmm. thing. I couldn't remember what it was. So if someone has a business idea or app or any, any mm -hmm. kind of innovation, what would you two say to them to encourage them to not just sit on it? Oh, research it. Yeah, research, research your idea. Research your idea. Yeah, research your idea for and the area. What you want to do? Your market, your target market. Find out, you know, wh who is your target market? Who are you looking to serve? It's if it's a service, it's a product. You know, see if somebody else is doing it. Mm -hmm. um, and so, just do your research. Yeah, okay. start with your research, and then, um, and, and then, like I said earlier, the feasibility study, the marketing, those are huge. Okay. You know, to find out who your tar mar target market now, is. Now, explain to the audience um, what uh, the feasibility study and marketing would be because everybody's yeah. not. So, the feasibility study basically is what it says. No, How feasible, feasible is, it to, is right? it to even do it okay. in the first place? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, all of that, you're gathering information, mm -hmm. you know, about the community that you're trying to either service or if provide a product the service to. And, like yeah. mm -hmm. and so, what the median income is, um, who lives in that community? You okay. know, how old are they? So okay. if your target market is um, people be between the ages of 18 and 40, you need to know, is it all female? Is it male? Is it children that mostly live in the area? And then that gives you an, an idea of if this is even a good idea to even start it up here. Right. You know? So it could, so what I'm hearing you say, it could be a good idea, but it may not be for the area that you're in. For the area okay. that you're in, yeah. Okay. And so um, you want to do as much research as you as possible. Mm -hmm. To even um, before you put any money down or anything, you want to sit down and, and do your research. Okay, yeah. awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. And um, in terms of um, the encouragement, because I've um, interviewed a couple of people and they say it said things like, "Oh, I was afraid to do X, Y, and Z," or "I didn't think I was good enough." I, you right. know, um, and it, they get to a place where they're like, "Wait a minute." I am good enough, like, mm -hmm. but what gets you from this, you know, um, especially, you know, Paul, you took that first step out. Mm -hmm. What make you, made you say, you know what, this um, traditional style of earning income, uh, being an employee, um, while it's great and it has some security, has its perks and everything like that, mm -hmm. I want something different for myself. How did you get from... I'm going to leave this um, for sure every two weeks paycheck to mm -hmm. I'm going to step out here. And... Well, um, I don't think I like, you know, jump like two feet in the deep end. I shouldn't, you know, let, let me, let me, let me go back a little bit. Um, I had broke a bone in my foot at Burlington's mm -hmm. and I was off work. And that's when I started having the time to be like, you know, listen, let me get this license stuff started. So that's what I did. I went online and downloaded all the stuff and put it in and started filling it out and sending it in, filling it out, and they would send me something back. I'd send something about, send something back, and that's how that all started. Okay. But I still worked there, um, you know, um, and did that on the side. You know what I'm saying? It's like sometimes you have to work your job that provides for you, and then the job that you are, you know, your business work that on the side. And then once your once that business starts taking off and it's to the point where you can walk away, then you just walk away. You know, you don't look back. So it's you're just, saying not you know, telling everybody that she's not saying everybody should quit their job tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not, not saying. Yeah, yeah, if you're making, yeah, if you're making, you know, six and a half figures over here at blah blah blah, and you're like, man, I want to go and you know weave baskets underwater for, and it's like, okay, hold on, <laughs> put the brakes on, see how it works out first. You know, because like I said, I was gonna, you know, I was gonna fold. I was like, man, I didn't have the work, and I was like, man, I was discouraged, and like I said, pastor said, don't close your doors, and I didn't, but I was still working another job at that point. To have income with it, you know what I'm saying, okay. and then they, they, and that's when that year what was it 2000 would have been the year it would have been the 31st of November of or 31st of 09 going into 2010. Okay. You know what I'm saying. So that's when you know I was like, 
let me let me start hitting this hard and I did and I started going out and people started calling and it was like you know hey can you do this can you do that and I think what was it I think in 11 we did NASCAR you know we did the security for NASCAR wow. you know and I was like a, you know and I was like a four-year-old company at the time I'm like holy crap I got NASCAR and, but it was the thing of like when I wanted to set my sights on something I went after it like we went after high times and um, that was a big contract, but it's only for a week. But it's but it's fifty guards for four days. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's a lot of money. And I went after it, and I started finding out who the contact people were, and contacted them. They called us, and you know we worked things out. NASCAR was the same way. I found out who did the security there. Oh, you know we have com- companies that come, and you know they do the gate security for us, and blah 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 blah. We took a whole truckload of people down there for the NASCAR for Saturday and Sunday, the big you know the, the preliminary race and then the big race um, down at um, the Brickyard. Um, you know, like I, I said, it just people. Yeah, I think that um, the biggest thing is um, to know who you are and to know what God told you to do. Or it's like some people, it's like they dream things, and it's like, man, that inspires me. I think that you have to keep what inspired you the very first time and made you excited. You have to keep that at the forefront. Okay. Yeah, you have to keep that at the forefront because life happens, things happen, and then, like you say, you set it on the shelf and be like, mm, I don't know if I could ever do that. I don't know if I could do that. You have to have confidence and know who you are and know the vision that God gave to you, and you just have to go for it. Don't look bad. Don't say, you know, maybe I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You mm-hmm. can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Everything that you Amen. need, you already have it. But do, he it, already some, gave but do it with it some common us. sense, though. Do it with common sense. Yeah, do it with common sense. <laughs> yeah, no, but just you do have, it. Having your own yeah. business and you're making good at a job. Don't just like you know flip your boss up and then walk out the front door and be like, "Man, I'm going to do do my business." And then six months down the road, you're like, "Boy, yeah. did I just did I just yeah. stab myself in the foot?" Don't do that. Have a you plan. know, have a plan. Uh-huh. You know, have, have a plan. Have an exit plan if you have a job. You have an exit yeah. plan in the business. And once your business is 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 topping your, you know, you're meeting your. It's like okay, cool. I can I can walk away from this and still survive and have money in my bank and make my mortgage mm-hmm. and my car payments and keep building and things like that. Yeah. You just don't walk away. Yeah, like I said, you just don't jump in. If you can't swim, don't jump in the deep end of the pool. No. You're, <laughs> you're, you're gonna struggle. Oh For sure. goodness! Yeah. All right. So well, I thank you both for yes. um, um, giving us all these nuggets of advice, all this <laughs> wisdom, all this experience. Um, we are thankful to have Tracy and Paul. Um, so again, if you need some security, um, go ahead, give them a shout out. If you're ready to help Tracy, uh, complete that, uh, project with her app. Okay. With the missing persons app, go ahead, hit her up. Um, her contact information will be down below. We thank you. Um, in until next week, keep living life limitlessly. I struggle every time I say it, say it fast three times. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, God bless you. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.